Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. If you're here because of a QR code, thank you for your purchase. If you're here because you're just a fan of the second channel, thanks for watching. Um, I'm known for quite a few things in this space and one of them is French cleats and I've come up with this really small, thin French cleat bracket. Um, I'm gonna sell these in packs of eight and uh, they're pretty reasonable in price, but they're really functional. And I mean, you could put five of them together to make a shelf just like this. There's also some other shelving options I'm gonna show you and also, Something pretty nice to store. Well, some of your you guessed it. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and open these things up. When you get these, you're going to find a pack of eight, and you're going to find four that are going to be mirror images of each other. Well, because if you put them together, you can see they're exactly the same on either side. Reason for that is if you make a shelf with brackets on the left and the right, they're going to be congruent. So I'm going to show you a, well, an example of kind of one of the stronger, more robust options you can do with these. I've cut some strips of half inch plywood and I've got a piece of 3 8 inch plywood here that's roughly about 36 inches long. Basically I'm just going to CA glue and use regular PVA glue as well. Attach these, the exact space of each of the brackets and work my way down the piece. So this is just one example of using them in a single fashion. Basically, one bracket every nine inches or so is gonna give you a pretty good amount of strength, but you can actually bundle these together. You can join two, three, four together to make them extra thick and also give you a lot of strength, but I've got brackets made out of three quarter inch material for that, so I mean, you can do that if you want, but or you can also just get the other brackets as well. Either way, this is a great example of how to make a pretty versatile shelf with not a lot of material. And let me just show you how strong it is. So quick disclaimer here, don't go thinking the weight of a bulldozer can go on one bracket, okay? I need you to be responsible with these, but they will hold quite a bit of weight as I'm about to show you here. I'm basically gonna load up 36 inch by 13 inch pieces of Baltic birch plywood that are three quarters of an inch thick. There's gonna be a total of nine pieces, which is essentially the weight of an entire sheet of four by eight foot plywood, which is pretty heavy. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, but I know it's over 50 pounds. I'm not surprised these work this well because, well, I mean, you know, plywood's pretty strong, even though it's only a quarter of an inch and all the force is being put down on it vertically, not horizontally. So here's an example of a light duty shelf. This is basically all quarter inch material, just kind of tacked together with CA glue and here by the CNC, I put all kinds of good stuff on here. I put some candy corn fused together, a mosaic resin table for squirrels, and of course an angle grinder. I'm just kidding. Really, I keep a bunch of router bits up here. And here's a prime example of them being fused together for extra strength, just in case you want to do that. Well, there you have it. I'm super excited to get these out, and I use them all over the shop now, and I hope you will too. Again, if you don't have them just yet, go down below. They're in the description. Thank you for watching.